When it comes to the world that we live in, there's little doubt that we don't know everything that has happened inside of it, or even what's going on with it right now. For many, the job of trying to learn the truth takes them all over the place, and they'll literally and metaphorically dig deep in an attempt to see where things take them. That can lead to some incredible discoveries and finds. However, the flip side of that is that you can sometimes find things that you can't explain or don't know if they're even safe to touch. Here now are 20 excavations that found mysterious and terrifying things. Number 20. The Soviets and the Nuns it would be the art of war. War is something where tragedies take place every single day, and they're forgotten about because of the overall narrative of the war itself. Sometimes the horrors that were done do not get revealed until much later on in life. For example, in 2021, archaeologists would unearth the skeletons of three Catholic nuns who were murdered by Soviet soldiers at the end of the Second World War. Their discovery concluded a months-long search for the bones of seven nuns who were killed during the former Soviet Union's brutal occupation of the war-torn country of Poland. If you're wondering why the Soviets would do such a thing, it was part of their Red Expansion that began near the end of the Second World War. Once they had beaten the Germans out of Russia, they then pushed them back into Europe, and that would lead to the Germans leaving Poland behind. However, instead of helping Poland to get back on its feet, the Soviet Union began to do various things to destabilize the nation even further. This would include taking down their militias and killing anyone tied to their churches so that they could not be rallied. According to some historians, when the Soviets began to take over places like Poland, the entire nation went into an uproar due to the mass terror that was happening before them. And that's something that showcases just how power-hungry the Soviet Union was. They were so desperate to prove their power and way of life that they were willing to kill nuns that did nothing but take care of people. While the remains of the nuns were preserved and honored, it doesn't help to wipe the stain of the terrible history that their bones symbolize. Like said before, few things can compare to the terror of war and the many things that people do within it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Stone Spheres of Costa Rica We go now from a rather tragic experience to a very mysterious one that features an ancient culture. If you were to head to Costa Rica, one of the things that you would likely find waiting for you are over 300 stone spheres. At first, that may not seem like such an odd thing, but when you look at the spheres, you're going to see that these were sculpted by man and that they do come in various sizes. These stone spheres are scattered all over the island, and for many years, people have tried to figure out what the purpose of them are, with no real luck. The only thing that many would agree on is that they were made by a previous group group of people, and that culture emerged in the valley of the Rio Grande, where they established complex social, economic, and political systems to govern their society. As they then grew bigger and became more complex, they were able to establish trade with other areas and peoples, and the more that they grew, the more they began to make their unique stone spheres. To give you a mental image, there are some stone spheres that are barely an inch or more in size, and then to contrast that, there are some where the diameter is over six feet in length. Now, if it was a few stones that were crafted, you could define that in different ways that are explainable, but when you have 300 of them that are perfectly crafted spheres, ones that no doubt took lots of work as they had to be pounded into shape and then sanded to be smooth, it makes no sense why this would be accomplished. Yet, they clearly were, so the real question is whether we'll ever find out why. Number 18. The Mayan Lost Capital One of the reasons that many archaeologists seek out various excavation sites is that they may have clues to the ancient peoples of our world. One of the cultures that many archaeologists and researchers seek knowledge about is the Maya. They are the mysterious culture that rose up to heights in almost unimaginable feats for their time period and then suddenly vanished without a trace. The people vanished, but the buildings and constructs remained. 
Archaeologists are constantly finding these constructs, and one of them happened to be the capital that's located in what is today the state of Chiapas in southeastern Mexico. This would be a minor kingdom of the Maya, which is why many of you likely aren't familiar with it. They first settled around 750 BC, and the city remained in continuous occupation for around a thousand years. Now sure, it's not as big as some of the other Maya strongholds, but that's not really the point. Within the place, there were several areas for rituals, the homes of the elite, and even large gathering places where certain ceremonies would take place. Each find that has been made is another clue as to what the Maya were up to and what may have actually happened with them. It may seem basic to want to find the ruins of places like this, but the fact remains that we have no idea what actually happened to the people to make them abandon their vast culture, their grand buildings, and their lives in general. If they had all simply died out, there would have been more bones to be found, and if there was an invasion, the cities would have been ransacked. So what actually happened to these people? Well, hopefully more excavations in the future will let us know. Number 17. The Nazca Lines Easily one of the most mysterious things on the planet, the Nazca Lines are a set of geoglyphs that were constructed upon the dirt in Peru, and for countless years people have revered these symbols, wondering how they came to be. If you're curious about why lines in the dirt are so special, they're not the kind of thing that you can appreciate from the ground level. On the ground, they'll merely look like lines, but when you look at things from above, you're going to quickly see that they were perfectly crafted images to look like animals and figures that are recognizable. Some of those shapes that you can easily recognize are birds, plants, even a killer whale, a dog, a spider, and more. They look huge from above because they are, with many of them being hundreds of feet long. That's where the biggest of the mysteries comes into play. How in the world did the ancient Nazca have the ability to construct such things? If you think about it, they did not have the wonders of modern science to guide them, and yet they were able to make these constructs that are perfectly balanced, lined up, symmetrical, and resemble shapes that can be easily seen from above with no issue. That's another problem, though. How would they know that they had done their job properly, when you have to be at a high position in order to see them clearly? Since their discovery in the 1920s, the lines have been variously interpreted, but their significance remains largely shrouded in mystery. Some feel that they were tributes to the gods, which is why you can only see them with a godly perspective, while others feel that it was more tied into their culture. But since the Nazca are not here to tell us those things one way or another, we simply have to look at them and marvel and wonder for the rest of our lives. Number 16. Qin Shi Huang's Tomb Here's a tomb that is both mysterious and terrifying all at the same time, and for a lot of different reasons. You would think that a historical figure who brought together a nation for the first time would be forever remembered for their burial location and what was inside, except that wasn't the case as China had proved with King Shi Huang's tomb. Who is King Shi Huang? Well, he was the first emperor of unified China, whose name I've probably mispronounced, and he was the one who would set the tone for all who came afterwards. He died a really long time ago, and the ground swallowed up his tomb to the point where farmers found it on accident in the 1970s. Once it would be found, the government and archaeologists then set about the work to try and dig it up and find everything that they could to see what had survived all of those years. One of the first big surprises that they received was that of a terracotta army. These were figures that lined the tomb so that the emperor would have an army to command in the afterlife. What makes it so terrifying is that each one of these warriors is unique. The amount of time and effort that it would have taken to finish all of this is extraordinary, and there were many, many statues like this in the tomb. But as for the mysterious part, well, that would be the inner tomb of the emperor himself, because you would think that the Chinese government and historians from around the world would relish the chance to look inside and see what state the former emperor is in. But that's where things get a bit tricky, because the only people who can approve that entering is the Chinese government themselves, and they are incredibly hesitant to do so. That's because they believe that entering the tomb and observing the emperor is a very tricky thing to do without damaging anything. The outside of the tomb with the terracotta warriors is still quite a fascinating sight to see. Number 15. Stonehenge 
What else could there be said about Stonehenge that has not already been said? If you know, you can leave a comment in the comments section down below, because this is without a doubt one of the greatest mysteries of our time, and it's not likely to be solved anytime soon. This famous site in the UK has drawn millions to it over the years, and it's not difficult to see why. The stone structure is easily one of the most unique things that you'll ever see, and there are some people who claim to know what it is. Some say that it's a solar calendar of some sort, which would explain certain placements of the stones. However, when it comes to the why and how of it all, there are no answers. We'll begin with the big one, the why. Why would they do this? Why would they go to such efforts to make something that may possibly be a calendar? Or if it was not a calendar, why are they making this thing? Nobody really knows, and it's certainly mind-boggling. Then there's the how. Over the course of recent years, some people have determined where the stones that make Stonehenge had been taken from, but that only adds to the mystery of the place because the stones were apparently from many miles away, which meant that they had to travel in order to get the stones, cut them perfectly, and then somehow transport them all back. And then, once they were back, they had to be either raised, stacked, or buried into the ground so that they could make the structure that you see today. How does any of it make sense? Well, it doesn't, so all we can do is just continue to admire it and move on with life. Number 14. The Shroud of Turin now we get to talk about easily one of the most controversial pieces of history that exists, the Shroud of Turin. If you're a believer in the Christian faith, you'll know that the death of Jesus Christ was one of the most important moments in history. Anything even remotely associated with the death of Christ could be considered a religious artifact and thus be considered holy, valuable, and many other things. That's where the Shroud of Turin comes in. It was alleged, when it was discovered, that it was the cloth that covered Jesus Christ upon his burial. More specifically, it was the cloth that covered his face, thus leaving a certain imprint that can be viewed today. But that's where things get a little bit tricky. Is it actually the real shroud that covered Christ? People differ on the answers when it comes to that. Many believe that it's fake, and multiple times throughout history since its discovery, it has been dubbed as such. There was even a scientific analysis on the shroud that showed that it was made with materials that were born after the time of Christ. However, that has not not stopped many from believing that it is real and that they can see the face of Christ within the cloth. It is a very messy subject, as you can see, and deals with various things that frankly are for no one to determine. Number 13. The Lost City of Tania whether you realize it or not, our world does have numerous lost cities that have only recently been discovered or recovered that are lurking out there waiting to be found. Whether it be by time, weather, natural disasters, or something in between, cities have been lost throughout history, and one that is truly mysterious is the lost city of Tania. This one would be found in 2018, and it's curious because it's believed to have been tied to the legendary Trojan War, as this was apparently a place where prisoners were held. If that is a true thing, then that would be a big win for the writers of history because there's serious debates as to whether the Trojan War ever actually occurred, or at the very least, happened in the way that we've been told. Sometimes a lost city can reveal entire parts of history. Number 12. The Easter Island Statues We'll now move on to Easter Island, where we can talk about the mysterious statues of the Rapa Nui. They were a people who lived on the island and eventually faded from the world, and what they left behind were numerous mysteries that haven't been solved quite fully. One of the biggest ones has to do with their legendary statues. Said statues are all over the island, and numerous, up in the thousands. And so, not only do people wonder how they were built, but wonder why they built so many of them and scattered them all around the place? Well, we may now well have the answer to that question. Based on certain findings and examinations of the island itself, the island statues are always placed next to spots that have fresh bodies of water. All you have to do is dig down a little bit, and that's where you'll find them. It says a lot about the Rapa Nui, because they were able to not only find all of these fresh water sources, but they were clever enough to mark them in such a way that would make sense, but not necessarily to anyone else. Don't get me wrong, though. It is a a 
bit much to do the way they did. And even though one mystery has been solved, there are still plenty of mysterious things about these people and their culture that is not known. Number 11. The Tomb of Romulus if you know your history, you would know that Romulus was considered to be the founder of the city of Rome, and so finding his body would be a major discovery that could help bring details about the time that existed before Rome, but that's where things get tricky. In 2020, right before the event that took place that changed everyone's lives, a tomb would be found near an ancient temple within Rome. Many people feel that this could have been the burial site for Romulus, but experts are divided over whether the empty tomb can be linked to Romulus or if the brothers even existed. What's more, it may point out that it's more likely to have been a spot to honor Romulus, as depending on what version of his life you believe in, there would be no body left to find. That's why you always take things with a grain of salt until they're actually proven to be true. Number 10. Gobekli Tepe here we have yet another location that people have tried to find the reasons behind, and yet they have found none. The reason Gobekli Tepe is so special is that it's 11,000 years old and is apparently the first structure of its kind made by humans that has been found. For reference, it's almost twice the age of Stonehenge, which makes it really, really old. And yet, despite people flocking to Turkey to look at the site and see what all it's about, nobody has any clue why it's actually there. That's not to say that we will not figure it out eventually, and there have been some small insights into what the people of Gobekli Tepe were like. However, why they built this megalith does remain a mystery, and unless something big happens, it will probably end up staying that way. Number 9. Copper Scroll Treasure Who's ready to go on a treasure hunt? There is a treasure that is allegedly waiting to be found, and the only thing that is hindering its discovery is a Dead Sea Scroll that cannot fully be understood. Now, if you don't know, the Dead Sea Scrolls are the oldest known writings of the Christian Bible. They're a religious artifact beyond compare in many respects. Not too long after the original set were discovered, another piece was found on copper, and it detailed something else being treasure. Apparently, the Israelites hid their treasures so that invaders could not get to them, and they wrote instructions upon a scroll of copper as an instruction sheet for those who would find it. The problem is that because of time and changing landscapes, there's no clear starting point to be able to find these treasures. And so the treasures may well still be out there, but nobody knows where they are. Number 8. Ark of the Covenant are you ready for another biblical tale that may possibly melt your face off? Don't worry, that only happens if you look directly into the light, Indiana Jones. Anyway, one of the most important religious artifacts of all time is none other than the Ark of the Covenant. This is the treasure chest that is to hold the original tablets of the Ten Commandments, as in the ones that Moses himself received from God after climbing a mountain to speak with his Lord. Ever since that encounter, the Ten Commandments and the Ark have been hailed as one of the most important religious artifacts of the Jewish people. They are so sacred, in fact, that it was once carried with them into battle so that God would be on their side, and whosoever was to touch the Ark without God's blessing would be instantly struck dead. That's where things get a bit tricky, because nobody has any idea where the Ark of the Covenant ended up. Jewish history is very specific about its location up until the first temple would be taken by the Babylonians, and once that happened, only rumors and stories existed exist about where the Ark is located. There are some who say that it was hidden by the Jewish people to keep it out of the hands of invaders, while others think that it was actually stolen and is being held by some rich people. And of course, there's Indiana Jones, who found the Ark and it would be confiscated by the United States government after being examined by top men. We're never likely to know what actually happened to the Ark or where it is now, but should it ever be found, we're sure that people are going to tread lightly around it when they do. Number 7. King Tut's Tomb now it's time to talk about one of the most important archaeological finds in the history of mankind, that being the tomb of King Tutankhamun. This is a find that helped to spark tons of interest in ancient Egypt and the wonders that could be found within the sand, but it's also a place that harbors many mysteries and terrifying outcomes. For example, you all likely know of King Tut's curse, or the curse of the pharaoh, that hit the members of the team that found the tomb 
and the young emperor. But that curse was a hoax that was simply meant to keep grave robbers away. On the more realistic side of mysteries, there are some who wonder about the family of King Tut, specifically who his parents were, because it seems as nobody really knows, despite some small clues having been found. Another set of mysteries comes from wondering who ruled before and after King Tut. You would think that history would be clear on the subject, as it's a line of secession kind of thing, but that's not the case at all. And that leads to arguably the biggest mystery of all, why was King Tut's tomb so small? Because if you think about it, this was apparently a famous pharaoh, and yet his tomb was anything but majestic. What would lead the people of ancient Egypt to basically dump their former leader into such a mediocre tomb? No one has any idea, and that's why the search for answers continues to this day. Number 6. The Antikythera Mechanism Here's a device that still puzzles people despite the fact that we do actually know what it does. The Antikythera mechanism was found in a Greek shipwreck, and when it was examined, archaeologists realized that this was actually a computer. Not a digital one, obviously, but an analog computer, specifically being designed to help sailors and others on boats to do calculations that would help them to know what was coming up next in the cosmic calendar. And that's where the mystery comes into play. How would the ancient Greek Greeks know how to make such a device, that would be a pretty serious set of calculations that they would have to discern and then work on to be able to place into a computer that sailors could use. Is this the world's first computer? It may very well be. Number 5. The Voynich Manuscript now we'll move on to an item that nobody understands for a completely different set of reasons. The Voynich Manuscript was a text that was made in the 15th century, and it's full of writing and pictures from the author, but nobody knows exactly who that author is. That's not the full mystery, though. It's just a tiny part of what actually makes it up. No one knows who the author was or why he did what he did with this book. What I mean by that is that the book is indecipherable in the literal sense between the words and pictures, nobody knows what's going on with it. It's gotten to the point where professional code breakers and translators have even taken a crack at the book and have gotten nowhere. Perhaps it's for the best that we never figure it out, or perhaps we may learn the answer soon. Either option could be correct, and I don't care. Number 4. The Mystery of Sang Zingdui as noted earlier, a certain emperor unified China and began a new life for the nation, but before then there had been numerous smaller kingdoms that raged all over the lands for control and power. One of the most advanced of them was this one. It's believed that this area had many advancements that helped it stand out from other kingdoms within China, but then they simply vanished. It took quite a while for people to think about a good reason for the people of this area to evacuate their homes, but the answer to that may well be a natural one, meaning natural disasters. It's believed that 3,000 years ago there was a massive earthquake that would cause landslides and other disasters to take place, and when they did, it simply clogged up the kingdom's water supply, and like many other cultures, when the water runs out, they're forced to flee and live somewhere else. It wouldn't be the first time that a people had to move because of something catastrophic like this. Number 3. Kat Shabib Wall when we talk about certain walls, you may think that we are going straight to China, or Westeros, or another one, but no, that's not what's being discussed here. I'm talking about a 93-mile-long wall that is in Jordan, known as the Kat Shabib. What's so mysterious about this wall outside of its length? Well, it's not clear who actually built it or what its purpose was. For example, unlike certain Great Walls, the Kat Shabib is only three feet tall, and that would be an inconvenience to a rival group, but but not an impossible one to get over. Furthermore, the wall had towers that lined it. What was the purpose of those? Some may feel that it was to keep cattle from getting beyond their borders, but do you really need a 93-mile-long wall for that? Number 2. The Cookno Stone Heading now to Scotland, we talk about the Cookno Stone, a piece of rock that has a very curious relationship with the surface. And by that, I mean that the thing has been buried, dug up, buried again, all in the act of protecting it. Now, the stone itself is from the Bronze Age and has mysterious markings all over it. 
And what's more, it's not a small rock by any measure. It's actually 42 by 26. So just imagine burying and digging the thing up multiple times over. Right now, it's apparently still in the ground for its own protection from vandalism, but we all know that it could be dug up again if people really wanted to. Number 1. Ice Mammoth Hut it's always a memorable find when people discover the bones of Ice Age creatures or people that have long since been extinct, but the question always becomes about the state of the bones and what they may reveal. That's where this discovery becomes odd, because you see, in Russia, a structure that was dated back to be 25,000 years old has recently been discovered. That alone would be impressive, but when they looked at what the structure was made from, it was actually constructed out of the bones of a mammoth. That means that 25,000 years ago, Whatever group of humans was around were able to kill enough of these ice mammoths that they could actually make a structure out of their bones. That's a whole lot of bones, and apparently it was serving as a food pantry of sorts. And that's all from the realm of excavations and how many weird and terrifying things were found inside of them. Which of these items do you agree were weird or terrifying to some capacity? And how many more of these things do you feel will be found in the world? Are there any other discoveries that could have fit on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.